Reflective vests are compulsory on the walking school bus. Although many children are still driven to school by their parents, Johanna and Simon prefer to walk. I can walk with my friend on the walking bus, but I can't in the car. The walking school bus leaves right on time. Bye, see you later. It's only 20 meters to the next stop. An adult helper is waiting with more passengers. This bus doesn't have wheels, it has legs. Good morning. Go ahead and find a partner. The walking school bus in Paderborn is accompanied by parents who take turns supervising the children. Today, a local police officer is also stopping by. The walking school bus here has been bringing children to school safely for almost four years. We're here in any kind of weather, even when it rains and snows. But then the group is a lot smaller, only about half as large. Many parents drive their children, saying then they won't get their feet wet. Local police have been strong supporters of the walking school bus from the outset. When children are always driven to school, it's like keeping them protected inside a bell jar. In the fourth grade, they switch schools and suddenly have to deal with traffic. This way is much better because the children gradually learn traffic safety. Even though it's a 25-minute walk, these primary school pupils prefer the walking school bus to the real one. Taking the walking bus is more fun than the car. It's nice because we have time to play in the schoolyard before class starts. We get some exercise before school starts. And I can chat with my friends. The University of Paderborn introduced the idea of the walking school bus in Germany. The project got underway after a study showed that many children don't get enough exercise and are at risk of becoming overweight. Children spend most of the day sitting. They sit for meals, at school, and when they're doing their homework. Their mothers chauffeur them from one place to the next. The children don't walk enough, and they don't play outside. The walking school bus even helps the pupils concentrate at school. Eight times five is forty. The children who are driven to school seem limp and tired in the morning. But the ones who take the walking bus are wide awake and cheerful. And they're much more receptive. The walking school bus is a hit. There are already some 30 walking bus routes in Paderborn, and the police are helping organize routes for new schools that want to take part. A good walking bus reduces traffic congestion around schools by 25 to 30 percent, which is a major benefit. The walking bus makes the trip to school safe, convenient and fun.